Hey, what's going on guys? My name is Mike. If you're new here to the channel, we talk anything personal finance and investing up here in Canada. Well, today we're going to do something a little bit different. We're not going to just talk about stocks and investing in crypto. We're actually going to talk about a job that I had as a student for three different summers. And this job is amazing. If you're a student or a young person, you want to make some big dollars fast in a summer or really just want to go on an adventure. Now, due to the nature of my channel that we're like personal finance focused, I'm going to be focusing more on the earnings potentials rather than the finer details of this job. But if anyone is interested in me to tell you more about my experiences, I'd be more than happy to just leave me a comment down below and I can definitely make a video in the future. So this job that I'm going to be talking about isn't just for students, it's for any young person. Typically I found that most of my colleagues were in their low to mid 20s, but we definitely had some older people as well working with us. So what's the job? Tree planting. That's right. I was a dirty hippie tree planter. I loved every minute of it. Well, most most minutes of it. So tree planting, that's kind of like a random job to, to talk about and to, to have experienced unless you're living up in like a northern town or something like that. Like someone living in a city, you, you might not have even heard of tree planting as a job. Well, just for a little bit of context, I was going up to school in Thunder Bay and I was going to school for outdoor recreation, parks and tourism. So I was kind of like heading into that, that direction in types of jobs, you know, working outside, that type of thing. And obviously I was in university, so I needed a good summer job to help pay with some of the bills that I had, you know, help pay with tuition and books and all that kind of stuff. All the, the normal things that students would have. Well, I signed up and I was a tree planter for three seasons. I would have actually done it for more if the circumstances were right, but three is all they got from me. So when I decided to go tree planting, it was super intimidating when I applied. I didn't know anyone in my camp. I didn't know any of the ins and outs of the planting. Like I was green going into it. I was definitely what they call a greener in uh, tree planting terms. By the way, I'll probably be showing random clips and photos and stuff during my time of planting. So just enjoy the little overlays if I decide to put them in, in this video. So if you are unfamiliar with tree planting as a job, you actually live in your tent for the entire season. That's right, you live outside, you're sleeping in a tent, you're sleeping on the ground. Mind you, they do feed you really well and you do get to go to town on days off, but I mean, in better or worse times, you're still sleeping in a tent. Yep, even if it rains, even if your tent floods, believe me, it happens. You know, on top of living in a tent, you're probably going days without showering. You're probably covered in mud. You've got bug bites all over the place. You might have an allergic reaction from a, a wasp nest. Yeah. Really sounds like hell, but I can, I can promise you uh, the, the payoffs are worth it. So prior to starting your planting season, you do have to invest in some gear to make your season worthwhile. So obviously you need a tent, you need some boots, you need your planting shovels, your planting bags, all that kind of stuff. If you don't have any camping gear, you could be spending upwards of $1,000, $1,500 on all your gear for the season to make it an enjoyable experience and one that can be quite lucrative. So most of my friends could probably vouch for this, but when you start planting, you're probably not making much money in your first week, your first two weeks, first three weeks even. So the way it works in tree planting is you get paid by the amount of trees that you plant, not by the amount of hours that you worked. This really promotes you to work hard because the harder you work, the more that you're going to earn at the end of the day. After a couple of weeks, if you're not planting enough to earn at least minimum wage, you're probably going to have a pretty good talking to and you might not last much longer, to be honest. But I find that tree planting is kind of like any sport. You're not very good to start and then you just pick it up and get better and better and better over time. So for most of the contracts that I worked at, you know, I was planting around Winnipeg, a lot of small towns around there, northern Ontario. A lot of the contracts were between eight cents and 11 cents, 12 cents per tree planted. So when I was first starting, you know, my first couple days were under a thousand trees. And then I gradually got up to the thousand to 1500 trees per day mark. I mean, to the average person, 1500 trees a day, that sounds like a lot of trees planted, not in the planting world, at least not in the Manitoba, Ontario world. It's a little bit different if you're planting out on the coast. But I mean, think about it. If you're planting 1500 trees at eight cents a tree and on top of what you just invested into all of your gear, plus your camp costs. So they do pay for your food. It's like, $25 per day, I believe, uh, to have all meals covered and your transportation, all that kind of stuff. You're not making that much money. Well, I can tell you, if you can get past those first couple of weeks, you know, the feelings of wanting to quit or go back to indoor plumbing or have service or even just chat with your friends at a mall or something like that. Tree planting can be one of the most lucrative summer jobs that you'll ever have, especially as a student. The great thing is, is that everyone at camp is experiencing the exact same thing as you are. If you're cold, chances are the rest of your camp is cold. If you're wet, most of your camp is probably wet as well. Because the camp goes through so much together it's like this crazy bond that happens you become best friends with people in your camp and who you're planting with on a daily basis i mean to this day some of my best friends and most people that i actually stay in contact with are tree planter friends not necessarily high school or even university friends it's also pretty funny when you go out to like a bar or something like that and you meet someone and you find out that they're a planter as well you instantly form this weird connection where you're like i've experienced that too and then you're just like best friends all, all of a sudden and chances are you guys probably have some similar colleagues you probably know someone who knows someone who knows 
knows you. Anyways, we're getting a little sidetracked here. You're probably wondering how much you can actually make tree planting in a summer. Well, most of the contracts I worked at started around late April, were done early July. So you would have most of the summer off actually uh, towards the end of July, definitely all of August, unless you had late work, something like that. But you don't make a ton of money in your first season, but if you can get past that first season hump or even plant late into your first year, tree planting can become quite lucrative in your second, third, fourth, fifth seasons. So my particular case, I signed on for some late work in my first season and I was planting in the high 2000s and then I was even starting to break 3,000 trees per day. I could be wrong, I think that last contract was 10 cents per tree. So 3,000 trees per day at 10 cents, you're making over $300 per day, minus the camp costs, but I mean, it sure beats the amount of money that you'll make at your local McDonald's or a grocery store or anything like that. One of the best parts about planting too is you're not really spending anything. You know, you're making a couple hundred bucks a day for consecutive days. You can't go back to your tent and online shop or you're not spending money at a bar or anything like that. You're banking pretty much everything that you make. By the time I got to my second year, 3,000 that was my number. I wasn't very happy if I wasn't planting at least 3,000 or close to 3,000 trees per day. It was my goal to be in that $300 a day, if not more, if I could. My pace was pretty similar in my third season and I actually got to be a crew boss in my third year and that's where things can get even more lucrative. So in the company that I was working for, there's two different types of crew bosses. I was a planting crew boss. So basically what that means, I would be responsible for a small group of like five to six planters and I would get about $20 per person on my crew uh, that I'd be responsible for so you know I had to do first aid I had to check the quality of the trees make sure all the trees were planted straight and we had a certain spacing between trees there are some mandatory things that you need to do for the forester but just to wake up I was waking up with over a hundred dollars a day just to go to the block and I could sit on my butt if I wanted to I didn't but I mean that right there sure beats just you know sitting at a, a supermarket something like that so not only was I making money per person on my crew but I also got to plant like most of my day I would usually plant for about half the day so the the effort went down even though my responsibility went up and my earnings were 300 plus per day no problem plus I didn't have to pay camp costs uh crew bosses don't need to do that just because there's a little bit of extra duties when you get back to camp but it was very very lucrative for myself but yeah I mean in the three seasons that I planted I did very well for myself I was able to plant in three different provinces I visited northwest territories because of tree planting uh, and I just got to see a bunch of little towns all across the Trans Canada Highway that I would not normally have seen you you never you'd never think to stop at half these towns and there's some some hidden gems out there I'll tell you. I ended up planting over a quarter of a million trees myself and met some of my best friends out there. So I wasn't even like the top planter in my camp or anything like that but I definitely had some days where I was making over $450, $500 per day. Definitely not bad for spending a few months out in the bush and still getting half your summer off before going back to university. You know some of the experiences were absolutely crazy. Some of the wildlife you've seen. I got to fly in a helicopter for my first time. I got to sit on these like tank like things. They were called haglins. You know you're just bombing through the bush on these things. It was just like absolute mayhem. I got to see the Northern Lights several times and some of the parties out in the bush, crazy. <laughs> Not to mention it's pretty comical seeing a bunch of planters out in the bush planting in these bright tights and dress shirts. If you're a planter, you know what I mean, but there's actually some uh, me method to that madness. There's there's some good reasons to be wearing dress shirts out in the, the bush. Like I said, I've got some stories to tell. But I mean, moral of the story is if you're a hard worker and you're strong mentally, you can make a lot of money in a few months in the summer and have a grand adventure while you're at it. You'll meet a lot of like-minded people a lot of people are there to pay for their tuition or to pay for their travels for the rest of the year. It's just a really good option to make a lot of money really fast. Honestly, I recommend this job to any student or any young person that wants to make some quick cash. It doesn't matter what shape, size, gender you are. I've seen great planters come in any shapes and sizes, any genders. It doesn't really matter. I like You don't need to be a star athlete to be a good planter. Trust me, it's all a mental thing. I've seen some pretty athletic people walk out of there because they couldn't handle getting bitten by <laughs> bugs all day. But I mean, if you can power through it and get through some of the bad things, you really grow as a person. Everything else in life gets so much easier. Of course, I got to shout out the Bison crew. That was a crew that I planted with for uh, my my three seasons. So, you know, shout out to any of you if you're watching these, these videos. Yeah, there's a lot of bad. There's some frustrating days out there. There's some, some cold days, some wet days, but I mean, the money that you can make and the friends that you meet, couldn't recommend this job more. I think it's one of the best paying jobs and one of the best jobs you can get as a student, unless you're going in for like an apprenticeship or, or something that very, very specialized, something like that. This is a great experience. If you have two years that you can plan on going planting, you're going to make a lot of money. But I got to hear from you guys. Has any of you ever tree planted before? Or do you guys know anyone that's tree planted? Let me know down below. Well, if you guys like this type of content, if you guys want to hear some more of my experiences, definitely let me know. I definitely have a lot of stories to tell when it comes to tree planting, some of my other life experiences. But I thought this was kind of relevant. It was definitely.
definitely personal finance related because you can make a lot of money. And that's, again, that's another way that we're going to reach our goal, reach into a hundred thousand dollars, whether that's a, a small summer job just like this to make some quick cash or something more long-term. But yeah, I've, I've had a blast uh, talking about tree planting and bringing back some good memories. Uh, if you guys want to hear more, definitely let me know. Um, otherwise, we'll get back to some more personal finance stock related videos tomorrow. Have a good one.